Welcome to the North Devon World Surfing Reserve Series. We're here between Saunton and Croy today to meet Dr. Kit Stokes from Plymouth University. He's been studying the unique characteristics of this coastline for the past few decades, and he's going to tell us what makes North Devon so special. Let's go meet him. Hey Kit. Hey Adam, how you doing? All good. Good how to see you. Not yeah, too bad. Yeah. So we're looking out at Lundy. We've got Lundy out here ahead. Uh, we've got Saunton tucked around the corner. Uh, Croyd Beach just up there. And out here, down in the Oysters Reef. So we've got Saunton around the corner, which is a great longboard wave. Yeah. But we've got something pretty special happening here, which, which, which makes Croyd yeah. one of the best beach breaks in the UK, right? It is, I would say so, yeah. I mean, yeah, we think about the difference between Saunton and Croyd, it's sort of black and white, really. Peels very uh, kind of nice and mellow way, great for longboarding. Whereas Croyd is, you know, this mutant, powerful A-frame beach break. It's beating me up a few times. Um, yeah, <laughs> hasn't it? All of us. So there's a reef right out in front of us, and that's one of the main reasons we're here. Mm. Is is although we can't see it today, that really refracts the swell around and really emphasizes the waves on, on Croy Beach, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people have heard about people surfing out there and, and the wave breaking itself, but even when that's not happening, those waves are passing over that reef and they're being affected by that reef. And, you know, it just subtly changes the direction of those waves as they come in. And that makes the difference between a wave that arrives very straight at the beach and just breaks in a gentle way to a wave that bends in at an angle interacts with another wave and wedges up in a, in a sort of powerful A-frame type of wave. And that's why on solid swells you get more, more waves at, at down end, the, the southern end of Croyd Beach? Uh, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. You've got a lot of energy being focused in right here. Uh, and you'll see it, you'll see some waves coming straight into the beach, some waves coming at 45 degrees. And when they meet, they just stand up, they kind of wedge up together, and that creates these peaks. And when you've got those peaks, you've got waves that are going to peel in two directions. There's that common misconception, isn't there, that waves will just roll out of the Atlantic and they'll always come. There's nothing you can do to affect it. Yeah. But there's these unique surf ecosystem which really creates good yeah. quality waves, right? Absolutely, yeah. And the thing that's really unique about North Devon is what happens when the waves arrive at the coast. So we've got a huge amount of sand out there on the seabed. Uh, and that sand comes up the coast from North Cornwall. It's like a conveyor belt that just pumps sand up the coast. And on top of that, we've got sand coming out of the Severn Estuary. Mm -hmm. And that's just around the corner to that side. And those, those sort of conveyor belts just pile the sand up in front of North Devon. And what effect that has is, as the waves come off the Atlantic, they become very groomed and organized. Mm -hmm. They hit this sort of smooth, shallow seabed, and they start to line up. And, and that is why you'd look out on a day like today and see these corduroy lines across the horizon. So that's kind of the second stage. And the final stage is when they arrive at the coast and they actually start to break. You've got these unique features on the seabed. You've got reefs, you've got a point break at Lynmouth, you've got you know, this, uh, this reef out here and a beach here. And those seabed features is what grooms the wave as it breaks and has the final effect on the shape of the wave. Yeah, but I guess what makes North Devon so unique and, and one of the reasons we've got World Surf and Reserve status is we have that such broad variety of waves in such a small area. Absolutely. But there's, there's yeah. certain elements that can, can detract from the quality of a wave. Not taking for granted that's always going to be there. There's, there's, no. there's human factors that can actually affect those, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, all of those different steps that we just talked about, the, the creation of the swell, the swell arriving near the coast, and then the waves breaking at the coast, each of those could be interrupted in some way. So, for example, there could be uh, a great big oil uh, platform built out there or some other form of engineering that's, that's built out to sea and that could block swell or change the direction of swell. Equally, you could have major coastal erosion and that might substantially strip the sediment off a beach mm -hmm. or it might pile up too much sand on a beach and, and that's all going to have an effect on the way the waves break. Yeah, and um, developments and, and climate change, these are all factors that can... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, climate change is, is, a, is a good point in question because we know with quite a lot of certainty that sea levels are going to rise over the next hundred years or so. And obviously the depth of water is really critical to the way a wave breaks. And so if you imagine in 80 or 100 years time, the sea level might be a meter higher than it is now, well, quite a few of these surf, surf spots are going to change quite considerably because mm. of that process happening. Permanent high tide. Could be, yeah. <laughs> but what we'll also see is we'll see new spots starting to break that yeah. never used to break before. Um, so it's not all negative, um, but things will change and, and we'll need to consider how that's going to happen. So you've been surfing and studying the North Devon coast for decades. What's your favourite spot and, and what's your most memorable 
session? Mm. Um, I mean, Croyd's always been really close to my heart. Um, partly because it's an amazing wave. I've had lots of good surfs over the years. But, but then, yeah, I've had some epic surfs at Nimbus as well. Nimbus is mm. just such a great wave. And you get so much time on the wave. And it breaks in such a kind of controlled and regimented way that you just get these quality rides there. So that's got to be probably my favourite spot, I'd say. Thank you.